We just landed in Korea yesterday, and what we need to do right now is go to the, the clinic okay. to fix her spine. Yeah, let's see how much bill it's gonna cost for her to get the x-ray and the injection done. As a foreigner who doesn't have insurance here, let's see how much it costs. It's really an experiment. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's gonna cost that much, to be honest. Like, it's just... Let's hope it's just x-ray and injection. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's hope we're gonna stay with that. Yesterday I couldn't sleep because I was googling stuff and was telling me I maybe have the when you lose completely sense of your legs huh? and one side of your body and tumors and stuff like that. So honestly, like after <laughs> I was texting Sophia yesterday, uh, she was controlling me. Uh, yes, so there is a dog. The, how do you call the, the, the Korean one? Pungsange. Pungsan, yeah, Pungsan dog. That's a dog? Yeah. My blood pressure was normal. Yeah. That's good. You're gonna be, yeah, you're gonna be okay. NANI?! <laughs> 네, 방금 첫 치료 갔다 왔고요. 엑스레이 상으로 L5 디스크가 터진 게 확인이 됐어요. 그 CT랑 MRI는 일단 확인이 됐으니까 따로 안 찍어도 된다고 하셨고 디스크가 신경을 얼마나 누르고 있는지 확인하는 테스트가 있어요. 그거 상으로는 지금 당장 수술은 안 받아도 된다고 하셨고 오늘 한 20만 원 초반 정도 나온 것 같아요. 보험이 있었으면 한 7, 8만 원 정도 나왔을 텐데 거의 3배 정도 가격이 나온 거죠 오늘 아 그런데 보험 없이 한국에서 치료를 받는 게 외국에서 보험 끼고 하는 것보다 더싼 경우가 훨씬 많거든요 네 이제부터 다른 병원도 차근차근 돌아다니면서 물리치료도 쭉 하고 야, 디스크 회복시켜야죠 이제부터 Acupuncture? Acupuncture. Yeah. Acupuncture. Luckily, I didn't see those needles because um, I'm scared of needles. So, Jun was next to me holding my hand and lying to me, saying they're pinching me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was hurting so bad. Um, I felt a bit better after that. Now, can you tell me how your, like, what it feels like uh, having a disc? Well, honestly, at first it started like just not being able to move leg much and not being able to stretch. Then the pain started radiating. I on your leg, right? On my leg. Mm -hmm. At first it came to a, a halfway uh, tie and then it started moving slowly towards uh, toes. The thing is that I first thought it's my hip because my hip was kind of clicking and it was bothering me while I was still working, but it ended up not being that. Um, so I genuinely first thought that it didn't slip yet it's just irritated it doesn't make sense i don't know why i already had this injury before but it was not it was not like this i don't know I, I was pretty reckless when it comes to listening to my body now i have a harder time walking and pain is intensifying and i cannot tiptoe on my affected leg like i cannot go on toes mm -hmm. and it's definitely not fun recovery is long you definitely don't want to do the surgery yeah, so if you want to heal naturally, it takes time. I'm actually very glad that we came to Korea for all these treatments because considering the prices in Thailand and in Serbia, Korea is much cheaper um, and I would say the better medical system. You actually don't have to schedule, you just come right in. In Serbia, for private clinics, it's not like that. So I like medical system here better. More treatments to come. I love Korean medical system. You Koreans, you're blessed. You don't, you don't even know how blessed you are. I swear. Mm -hmm. Even as a foreigner, I have amazing. How do you say it? Amazing. Healthcare. Yeah. They provide me amazing healthcare. Oh. I 
husband got me. He said this is like a liquid IV that you drink. Tastes like a, a gummy that got melted. A gummy bear? Like a gummy bear, but somewhere in between blueberry, blackberry, and a bit of apple. <laughs> but it's nice. I like it. You feel it? Scary movie. Yeah, I was actually thinking that too. In the white dress. Mm -hmm. The white like, dress. Yeah. Yeah, 90s Japanese ghost. Yeah. I do like that. I have this. Oh, it's You really look like a ghost. <laughs> oh, enjoy your five minutes of torture. How are you? I'm better than I was before. Yesterday I didn't feel almost any pain. Today I feel a bit. But last night you were in deep pain. That's not the worst pain I ever felt. So my nights are sometimes without pain, sometimes with pain. So yeah, as you can see, I'm bent uh, because from Thailand, I was okay when I came here. And then no, after you're that, not. I mean, I was sane. I was sane. That's why I say I was okay. So yeah, after that, um, things kind of got worse and then started getting better. I think mm -hmm. that's how it has to go. Oh, this is like not my a, first time. Three days ago at night, yeah. you were literally crying because of how painful it was. Yeah, yeah, th th that's true. And uh, honestly, I, I, this is not my first time. I already had a herniated disc uh, maybe 10 years ago. I was uh, in a car crash. Then I knew why it was coming, mm -hmm. why it happened, right? But now <clears throat> I think how I understood it, it never actually healed completely. So some people tend to have herniated disc for a very long time without them even realizing mm -hmm. they have it, right? And then until one day it either hits the nerve or it becomes very bad, so they, they have to figure out something is happening, right? Yeah. So I think that was the case with me. I can't walk properly anymore, straight. So I lost some weight because yeah. I, till I, I know that's going to help me. And you guys mentioned that as well. About 3 kg. Yeah. Uh, so far, I think that's in what a week. I lost three kgs. Mm. Um, of course, I'm gonna continue losing weight. Hopefully, really careful what I eat. The thing is, we thought that the issue was with my hip, because initially my hip was hurting, but we didn't know that at that moment, right? We thought, oh, it's a hip problem. You were trying to solve my hip. You mm, remember? Yeah. And then gradually, with months, it just pain started spreading, 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 spreading. Um, I don't want to go for the surgery. I, I understand that uh, there are different opinions about it, but I don't want to experiment with it if I don't have to. So I'm really grateful that I don't have to go right now for the surgery and um, that this can heal naturally. It's just going to be a long process. We're now going to get shots. Shot, 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 shot. So um, this doctor gave us almost... I mean, whenever I need it. I got corticosteroids one, once, after that night when I couldn't, couldn't, mm -hmm. couldn't live. Couldn't take. I couldn't take anymore. And it actually helped a lot. And that that's only been like, what, three, four days ago? He's giving us, whenever I feel the need, once a day, um, uh, That's pain just an anti-inflammatory and pain. injection yeah yeah so it helps as well mm -hmm. so after that i feel you know like i can walk again and i'm so proud and then at night again it starts hurting and yeah that's just my life right now but we'll keep you updated this is me <laughs> um 
I just wanted to thank you guys for your concerns and comments and advices as well. Actually, um, I've read them all and took some to consideration as well when it comes to um, certain uh, procedures and shots that you recommended. Some people will think we took this very lightly, but the fact is that um, we kind of knew we were going to move to Korea. We decided for that literally in, in a few days and we had a week to pack our whole life <laughs> and move it from Thailand to Korea. June told me that as well here he believes the, the system is medical system is much better and uh, I will be treated for what I actually need to be treated. So then we decided to wait and see how it feels. If I really get worse then to go um, to a hospital in Thailand but because it didn't actually I didn't have any regression there. We decided to come to the hospital in Korea, which we did immediately and as soon as we arrived. Um, so yeah, we will take you with the, with us on this journey and uh, maybe this video one day helps someone. Um, maybe with all your comments and, and suggestions and what we did and what, what we figured out, how to deal with the pain. I think the pain is the major thing to deal with and then after that you can actually start rehabilitation. Let's see how long it's gonna take to the full recovery. Your hand. One yeah. hand has to be given to me. <목소리도> 네 주사 공포증이 있는데 간호사님이 넣을 때는 괜찮아요 진짜. 진짜로? 네. Thank you. Just could have come to the lay down on my stomach, mm -hmm. right? Previous time I couldn't do it. Now you we, can. Yeah. Good, good, pretty good. I think the heating pad helps me. But this bed as well stretches my discs. But it's really helpful. Yeah, I can definitely see it pulling in the space here. I'm trying to relax. Which is so pretty. I think the shot in the thigh was a great idea. Mm -hmm. At this spot? At this spot or just around the burning area. Mm -hmm. But it's super close. Maybe they didn't do this for, for me in Serbia, so I don't want to um, say for sure, but I don't think we have something or even if they have, they didn't do it for me. It was almost 10 years ago. But my therapy, if I remember, was uh, laying down at home, and I was not having medication. So I really don't remember much because I was sleeping a lot for those medications. Mm -hmm. And then after, when I felt a bit better, I started having physical therapy. But physical therapy was a stretching, like exercises with the strengthening the core. So I have some exercises, lifting in one leg, then another leg, cat cow, corporal pose. I think I had that for two weeks. And now when I finish with that, I had to do it every morning before I get out of the bed. I had to do those exercises, and then I could decide. I want the shot in my back. Without the shot in my back, made a lot of difference. Good, good, good. good. So we came back. Um, I'm having a heating pad here. That's the best thing in the world. That helps a lot. And I have my little therapist here. That I'm stealing. He tries to run away from me, but then I asked June to go fetch him. <laughs> I really enjoy um, his company. <laughs> he's helping my pain go away. Yeah, so he's a new addition uh, to my treatment. But I give him snackies. So it's, it's a fair um, share to each other. Say hi.
Please look at like, save me, please.